Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is September 18th, 2017, and today is Monday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, just one event really coming out today, and that will be Governor Carney will be speaking at 5 p.m. South African time, so keep an eye on that. GBP has been in the limelight this week and last week, so that's something to uh, really look into. But before we get into the actual chart analysis, just want to mention that FOMC rate decision will be this Wednesday. Okay, that's a major number coming out, um, and uh, just want to uh, let you guys know about it so you're aware and prepared for it before it comes out. But let's see what's happening in the market. So we're going to start here with the Euro USD trading at 119.45-ish level, right in almost the midpoint between of our two extremities of our support level, 118.80 and 120.72, as you can see here. So we're just above the 30-day average. Um, nice little pickup that we had from last Friday as we've set up this neckline uh, at 118.80. So, you know, as things will progress this week, I think we're going to have a quiet week with the euro. I think we're going to be trading within a very tight range in the next couple of days um, until we do have this FOMC decision. And at which point we'll have more of a direction in which way we'll go. Either we'll correct ourselves a little bit since our massive 1,000, close to 1,200 pip move since the beginning of the summer. Um, and, you know, either we'll continue going higher, break this 120.70-ish level, and continue going higher or make a correctional move. But let's see as the week progresses. I want to jump too uh, aggressive before the news comes out as we're in the midpoint right now. Looking at the GBP USD, this is the story of the day. Last Friday, we were trading about 134.80-ish level, okay? And then unfortunate news came out of the UK about some sort of terrorist attack in uh, the underground. Uh, I, I don't believe anybody was killed in it, thank God, but, and, you know, unfortunate news does happen, and there is reaction to this type of news, and I would have expected the GBP to make some sort of a correction, and it didn't. It continued going higher, okay, and usually if there's negative news and um, the symbol continues going higher, there's some real strength in the market. So, you know, whoever was trying to sell uh, got squeezed out and we went even higher. We're trading here at 135.94-ish level. The next real resistance level, okay, is really 138.10-ish level, 140-ish level. That's really the next resistance. So, you know, really a fantastic move for the GBP USD. Uh, and this is going on the back of some negative news a couple of weeks ago, some retail sale issues, um, and just general, you know, fundamental issues. But, you know, altogether, the graph tells the tale, okay? Um, and it's telling us that it's going higher. And with this type of velocity, there's no reason we can't hit 142, 143 before the end of the year. So just keep an eye on this, especially as the week progresses. Looking at gold, we're trickling down 1317. We're making lower highs, lower lows, and this thing is just correcting itself. We may come down all the way to 1,300-ish level. We may correct ourselves all the way there. And this is really going on the back of the Dow Jones. Like looking at the Dow Jones, we're trading at all-time highs last Friday. 22,289 were up 70 handles this morning. And this thing just, you know, full steam ahead, okay? Uh, the engine is roaring. Everybody's thinking buy, 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 and everybody's being squeezed out if they're going short in this, uh, as you can see. So with this type of velocity, again, we could even hit 23,000 before the end of next year uh, as we continue trading. Unless there's a correctional move, some sort of averse you know, situation in, in the markets or geopolitically, uh, but otherwise we're you know, full steam ahead. You know, this concept from when Trump became elected president last year of America first is paying its dividends in terms of its uh, its reactionary uh, in the market. So, you know, it's hard to really pick a point and say, okay, this is a good point to buy because there's no pullbacks. Look, since the beginning of December, we've only had 
one down month, okay, from last year. So this is really a very difficult market to actually trade because it's continuously going up and not retracing, okay. If you buy and hold it, you're doing well, but intraday, it could look like it's faking you out, look like it's weak, and then boom, it takes you up on the outside. So, you know, what's positive about this is that there's volatility in the market that's follow through, that's trending, okay, that's what we like to see. Looking at the USD Japanese yen, though, Yen getting a little bit weaker here at 111, jumping above this level, okay? And this is not attributed to any sort of fears with North Korea. This is just market cyclical showing itself that it's, you know, going in cycles, breaking up higher, okay? I do uh, believe we could even hit this 111.70-ish level uh, before the end of the week. So keep an eye on this as this you know, unfolds throughout the week. This is Fred Razek at CM Trading. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.